We turn now to Iran's retaliation for the U.S. drone strike that killed one of Iran's top generals. And President Trump addressed the nation after Iran fired more than a dozen ballistic missiles targeting at least two U.S. military facilities in Iraq. And ABC's Rachel Scott has the latest from Washington. This morning, President Trump addressing the nation with the vice president by his side, responding to that counterattack by Iran. Iran appears to be standing down, which is a good thing for all parties concerned and a very good thing for the world. Overnight, the United States assessing the damage at two military bases in Iraq where American troops were stationed, targeted by Iran in a revenge attack. This video by Iranian state TV reportedly showing missiles aimed at one of the bases, the regime bearing its top commander, Qasem Soleimani, hours after the country launched several ballistic missiles in response to his death. This morning, 30 miles from Erbil, the capital of Kurdish Iraq, local security forces removing fragments from what they say was an intercepted missile that landed there. There have been no reports of U.S. coalition or Iraqi casualties. The Iraqi government saying Iran alerted them prior to the attack. Iran defiant, but adamant they do not want war. The Iranian foreign minister tweeting, we do not seek escalation or war, but will defend ourselves against any aggression. Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Khamenei calling the strike a slap in the face to the U.S., demanding President Trump pull all American forces out of the region. And sources tell ABC News that American troops were in bunkers at the time of the attack, a sign that there may have been enough of a warning of possible danger. Rachel Scott, ABC News, Washington.